Keep it up with Kara. Go. You can watch all the time. New videos every Friday at 12 p.m. You know what to do. Go ahead and join Kara's crew. Kara's crew. Kara's crew. Kara's crew. Kara's crew. Join Kara's crew. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. You're watching Keeping Up with Kira. For today's video, I will show you guys how I achieved this hairstyle using Myel Organic. So, if you guys want to see how I got this look, keep watching today's video. If you are not already subscribed to this channel, don't forget to press the subscribe button. Let's get into today's video. For today's video, I will be using Myel Organics hair products on my hair. This is not my first time using Myel. I have used their products in the past and I really, really enjoy using them. This will be my first time using the shampoo and the coil and curling custard though, but the other products I have used. So let's get into part one. So part one, we have to wash this lovely hair of mine. It's very, very dirty. I haven't washed it in like three weeks, so it's definitely time to wash this loveliness. All right, so we have the shampoo, the hair mask, and the leave-in conditioner. So step one, we have to apply the shampoo. So here is the rosemary mint shampoo. This is the consistency. And yes, it smells so good. It smells so minty. I really like this product. I feel like because of the tingling sensation, I feel like it's really cleansing my scalp. You really want to make sure that you work the product in your hair and on your scalp and whatnot. So to do that, I'm using my scalp massager that I got from Amazon. If you haven't seen my Amazon favorites video, definitely check that out. But yes, this product is so helpful. It's a great tool for when you're washing your hair, when you're applying oil. Literally, whenever you wanna give your hair a nice little massage, give your scalp a massage, definitely get that product next up we are applying the hair mask this is a rosemary mint strengthening hair mask and i'm going to apply this while i'm still in the shower i definitely recommend you guys apply this hair mask in sections but i was trying to get my hair done as fast as possible i didn't want to spend the entire day doing my hair but for the best results and if you want your hair to be extra soft definitely do it in smaller sections but yeah you can do this way too if you want. If you have somewhere to go, do it this way. It's still going to get the job done, but I feel like for better results, definitely work in smaller sections. All right, so after I put the hair mask on, I left it in my hair for like an hour and then I washed it out. Now I am detangling my hair. I put my hair in sections because sections is the best way to go when you have to style your hair. Whenever you're doing anything to your hair, work in sections. I promise you working in sections will make the process so much easier. So yes, now I'm just detangling my hair using just water and now I'm going to apply the pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner. So I really like the rosemary mint because of the tingling sensation on your scalp but this pomegranate and honey scent it smells so good this is honestly one of the best smelling hair products I've ever used on my hair. I really 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 like the way it smells and I love the results, of course. So yes, I'm just going to work the leave-in conditioner in that section, make sure it really gets in there. It really, you know, settles into that section. And to make sure the leave-in conditioner really absorbs into my hair, it really takes it all in, I'm going to add some water. So I'm going to get, you know, my little spray bottle of water and spray some extra water for that section. But this is just how it looks without the water, and then we're going to add the water now. So yes, we want to really take in that leave-in conditioner, make sure that section is extremely moisturized and detangled. Detangle, detangle, detangle. Detangle. <laughs> so yes, after I add water and leave-in conditioner, I am detangled. I am going to twist that section up and do that to the rest of my hair. And now that I detangled and twisted each section, I'm going to apply the rest of my products. So I'm gonna take out this twist that I did in my back section, and I'm going to give it one more comb through with my fingers, make sure it's nice and detangled. I'm going to take one piece from that section, comb it out, comb it out, make sure there are no knots, no tangles. And then we're going to add the twisting souffle. This is the pomegranate honey twisting souffle. So let me show you guys what the twisting souffle looks like. It's a nice thick creamy consistency. And now this is the coil sculpting custard. It's very much like um, slime. <laughs> but yes, so we're starting off by using the twisting souffle. And you see that definition? 
do you see that shine so yes as you can see by these results you can definitely use the twisting souffle on its own but i wanted to try out this coil sculpting custard because this will be my first time using that and i really want to see if there's a difference between the twisting souffle and the curling custard so yes look at that Ooh, so cute so i'm starting off by braiding this small section we're going to start it off with a braid and you want to make sure you take your time you want to make sure you avoid any knotting any tangling after you braid for a little bit you can transition into a twist so i'm going to twist the rest of my hair after i make sure there are no tangles twist 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 so you start out with your braid next you transition into a twist after you twist your hair you're going to stop and you're going to take one small piece from that section and you're going to continue twisting so you just pull out one little piece of hair and you continue twisting until you get to the very end you want to finger coil the end or you can leave it alone but i'm going to finger coil the end do, 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 do. <laughs> and after i finger coil the end i'm going to get some of that custard that coil sculpting custard there it is nice slime consistency and i'm going to add it to that section of hair that i took out that one piece of hair that i took out from my twist and i'm going to finger coil that specific piece of hair yes that's what it looks like <laughs> I really like this hairstyle because it gives your twist an added pizzazz. It's not just regular twist in your hair because you're taking that one piece of hair from that section, you're twirling it around, and it just adds something extra to your hairstyle, you know? So even though this style takes a long time, for me personally, I like it because it is long lasting. I'm going to wear it for the rest of this month. My hair will stay in this exact style until the last day of February because it takes a very long time to do so I'm not rushing to take these out but the good thing is because you're adding these different products into your hair you're making sure you are having moisture while you keep your hair in this protective style for as long as you need to so yeah I think it's a great protective style I think it is a very pretty girly style and it's super easy to do especially if you're not like a braider being able to transition into the twist is really good and if you don't know how to braid at all just start with a twist and twist all the way from the roots all the way down speaking of braids i really want to learn how to braid my own hair so like as you see i know how to start braids like i know how to braid my hair but i don't know how to braid my hair and also i need a lot of help with gripping because when you get to the front of my hair, I want to be able to really like grip it into a braid. You know what I'm trying to say? Like I know braid, braiding basics, but I want to be a professional braider. No, not a professional braider. I want to be, I want to be able to braid my own hair and not have to pay someone to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably making absolutely no sense right now, but I know how to braid basically, but I don't know how to braid like really nice neat gripped by the roots by the tip of my head the very very tip 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 so i want to work on that this year so that way i can have different braiding styles you know i could do bohemian braids goddess braids all the types of braids you know and i really want to learn how to do cornrows on my own hair so that it's like nice and tight and it doesn't look loose I probably I'm going to stop rambling because <laughs> you guys are probably like, what are you talking about? But for 2023, I really want to learn how to braid my own hair in different types of braiding styles. All right. So let's get back into my current hairstyle. So this hairstyle takes a long time, but the end results are definitely worth it. And if you want a hairstyle that you'll be able to wake up and go, this is good. If you want a hairstyle that you can do different styles within that style, this is good too because you can do like half up, half down with this hairstyle. You can do a bun. You can use a claw clip. You can do lots of different styles with this specific style. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to stop talking. 
and put some music on for you guys. Later. 10,000 years later, I'm finally done twisting my entire head. Now it's time for me to apply this Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. This oil is so good. I'm sure you guys have seen this oil everywhere. Everyone and their grandparents and their great parents knows about this oil. If you don't know about this oil, don't say I never told you anything because I'm telling you right now, you want to buy this oil. <music> And that is a wrap. These are the results after I applied all of the Mayel products to my hair. And it'll do. It's a great protective style. It's nothing spectacular, but I don't have to do my hair for the rest of the month. Comment down below what is your favorite natural hair care brand to use. And also comment down below what hairstyles you would like to see me try out in the future. Okay. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with everyone you know. Thanks for watching. Camera speed. Sound production, take one. Here is some behind the scene footage of me trying to get a good thumbnail. Sound production, take two. I did all of this only to not even use this as my thumbnail, but I hope you all enjoyed today's video. See you next Friday at 12 p.m. Kara's crew. Kara's crew. Join Kara's crew. Don't forget to catch up on previous videos.